Hi coach, welcome back to Tech Your Game and today we're going to talk about how to use Google Forms to do your statistics for free. Okay, welcome back. And today we're going to talk about Google Forms again. Uh, I swear I'm going to get on to other Google apps here soon, but I am just so jazzed about Forms that I have got to show you one more thing. And it'll kind of segue us into Google Sheets, but for right now, Google Forms is still where we're going to be. And today we're going to talk about statistics. That one chore that can get you into big trouble at the end of the season if you don't have it done and you have to do it all manually at that point. Now, I realize most of you have to keep paper records, or you might have to keep a bench, a uh, scores table, or whatnot, and that's fine. But in the end, we need to use these statistics. We need to sum them up. We need to send them to the league. We need to send them to the school. We need to use them for our kids to motivate them. Whatever it is, we need to be able to get a hold of them and, and dissect them very quickly, and Google Forms lets you do that. So I'm going to start here with a, um, a new... I'm going to go into Drive, and right up here, what, what you might have noticed, I've taken the tab and I've pinned it, all right, and if I unpin it, it'll be a regular looking tab, and if I just pin it, and I like to do this because I'll click on that tab a lot, and I don't want to close it, I just want to go to it, and by pinning it, it will hold it there for me. Uh, just a little quick Google Drive tip for you, but we're going to come down here to Forms, New, More, Google Forms. I'm just going to take a regular form, blank form, and we've talked about this in our earlier videos, and I'm going to call it lacrosse, whoops, lacrosse statistics, and again, if I put that in here and I want it to be the title of my form, I just click up here and it auto-fills it for me. Less work for us. Okay, form description, you don't have to put one in there, it really is kind of self-explanatory. Now, for every box, and this is a box here, it's every question, there's a, a that, that's a stat, that's a, a cell that you want to be able to sort by. So this first thing I want to sort by is player name. All right, so, because the first thing is we're putting statistics to players' names. And I could leave it as something they have to type in, but I don't really want to type it in, so, what I, what I might do is just make it player number, which equates to a name, okay? And then what I can do using Google Sheets, and we haven't got into Google Sheets yet, but I'll go back to Drive here, new Google Sheet, and I'm just going to create a number list. And the quick and easy way to do that with Google Sheets is to use the autofill function. So I'll just type in one hit enter, type in two, hit enter, type in three, hit enter, and then I'm just going to click and drag, select these three cells, and you'll see this little box here, and when I come over this box with my mouse, it gives me uh, a crosshair, and that crosshair allows me to click and drag all the way down. So if I've got 60 different numbers on my team, I drag down to the 60th cell, I let go, and as you notice, it sequences it all for me. So. I'll just go back up here to the top, click and drag all these numbers, control C, or go up here to the edit menu and copy. Go back over here to this question, and I'm gonna change it from a short answer to a drop down box. And in the first box, I'm just gonna click in the first box, and I'm gonna hit control or command V, as in Victor. And it takes a few seconds here because I've just asked it to do a lot of work, but it puts all those numbers in a drop-down list. And I, I'm going to click on the bottom here of this cell, and I'm going to say required. I need to know always. For every statistic, I need to know who it's for, who it pertains to. So that looks like a really long question, but it's the very first question, player number. We need to have it. Then I'm going to click up here where it says add a question. Okay, and I'm going to say goal. You know, goal scored. And this is, again, lacrosse is pretty simple. Um, statistics. And I'll do, again, a drop down. And I'll do numbers. In this case, I don't need 
to put in too, too much. I'll just put in one goal, two goals, whatever. Um, and then make that required. Go to another question. Assist. And again, I'll put it in. I'm going to use numbers because I'm going to want to sum this stuff up later. I'm going to want to use numbers. So we're just going to use a drop down box again. And I'll show you why here in a second. That's important. One, two, okay. Um, make it required or not required. Actually, I don't want to make goals and assists re required because it might be one or the other. And I'm just going to let whoever's taking my stats make that call. Uh, and I'll just add another one in here. Round ball. You know, one, two, whatever. Each play, each player is really only going to have one or none. Um, and again, I'm not going to let it make it be required because if I make it required, whoever's filling out my form is going to have to put something in here. And if there's no assist or a ground ball or a goal to award to a certain player, then... Um, you know, we won't be able to finish submitting the form. Okay, so this is just really simple. There's a lot more statistics that you're going to want in lacrosse. Um, I'm going to pull up another one here for you that some of you football coaches might be interested in. You might say, well, in football, we have a lot of different statistics, and I can't do this in football. So what I did uh, was I went in and I created a football statistics one. Okay, and starts out, what type of stat is this? And then there's all these different statistics. Okay, so for every mark on your, your manual sheets that you do today, I can put in a drop-down list of what type of stat it is. Okay, it's a pass, it's a reception, it's a rush, it's a tackle. Okay, result of the play, what's the result? A gain, all right? What was the player's number? Okay, again, we need to know who the statistic is for, all right, for the first player. And then there's maybe a second player is involved when a quarterback passes the ball. The quarterback's number seven, the, the receiver's number 89. I need both those numbers in there. But I'll make really only one of them required because you might not always have two people involved in a play. A running back might rush for a few yards and then be done. Okay, what quarter is it? Okay, the four quarters in inside of football and then any overtimes you might have. What down is it? There's four downs and then there's a no down, which I call the kicking down. So kick off or kick return. Uh, how many yards are gained or lost? And again, do exactly what we just did in the previous Google Sheet. Fill in yards all the way up to 99 yards. There's 100 yards on that field. You, you're going to gain anywhere from 1 to 99 and you might lose anywhere from 1 to 99. So I put the negatives in here as well. And I made them drop down lists, and I'm going to show you why I did that here in a second. Okay, so after you've got all your statistics in, and again, it can be anything that you want to track, anything. Okay, put it into the form and put down the choices that it could be, that could pertain to that stat. And every question, every question is going to be a cell that you can sum up, sort, or do anything you want with. So you got to make sure you keep that in mind. They're all going to be different cells in your spreadsheet later on. So with this one, what I would do, and what I suggest for you to do, is to find your statistics people and send them this form. So we're going to come up here to send Okay, and we're going to email it. In this case, I'm just going to email it to myself, my, my other email. Okay, and I'm going to stay football stats. And I'll, I don't need to put a message in there. I'm just going to send it. Okay, and on the other end, what that looks like is, and I'm going to go to the iPad. And if they can do this on the iPhone. But I'll just go into my mail. And I'll look to see, I'll just go into my mail. And in my mail is the Tech Your Game football stats. It says fill out form. So I'm going to click 
on the form. And then the form's going to come to me. And if I'm the stats guy in the booth or if I'm just another parent in the stands, and so a lot of your sports, a lot of your youth sports are just going to be parents that volunteer. Well, wouldn't it be great if they could just hold their phone in the stands and have people around them spot stats for them? Hey, that was Jenny. She's number six. She just got, you know, an assist. Whatever. Then you just go type it into the form. Well, so here's the form, the football statistics. All right, anything with a red star next to it needs to be filled out. So what type of stat is this? Offensive rush. Okay, and what was the result of the play? There was a gain on the play. Player's number. I scroll through, number 22. Second player's number. Nobody else was involved. What quarter is it? First quarter. What down is it? First down. How many yards were gained? Five yards. Submit. And then it says, your response has been recorded. Submit another response. Yes. Okay, because second down's coming. So second down comes. What type of play? Well, we ran a pass this time. What was the result? The pass was a completed pass. The first player's number was number seven. That was the quarterback. Second player's number was, and I'll scroll way down here to number 80. Okay, what quarter is it? It's still the first quarter, the down, second down. And how many yards were gained? Four yards. Submit. <coughs> okay. And you'll continue to go through this the whole game. You just keep adding stats. And, and again, what I really like about this is you can get parents in the stands involved. You can get your – and it can really build community in your stands where pe when people are just shouting out, you know, statistics. Somebody might be responsible for all assists in lacrosse. Somebody might be responsible for all goals. Somebody might be responsible for any cause turnovers. And then you can specialize – with parents and, and spectators that you know always come, you can specialize and, and tell them which stat is theirs and then just have one person on their phone click, 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 filling it out. That way everybody gets to watch the game, everybody gets to know more about the game, and you get your statistics. So let's go back to the form. Right here you're going to see responses. Well, I, I put in, I, I watched a, uh, a video on YouTube, a football game, and I just sat there with my phone and plugged away at all the statistics. So the responses are going to come out like this. What type of stat is this? And then boom, here's the breakdown. Okay, result of the plays, touchdown four, touchdown against, first downs. Everything is graphically depicted right here on the page. Now, this probably isn't as useful in terms of what you need to have as a coach, and I, I recognize that. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go up here to the top, and you're going to hover over this little white cross inside the green square, which represents a Google Sheet, and it, it's going to ask you, view your responses in Sheets. You're going to click on that. And all of your stuff is going to come up in a, Google, a spreadsheet a Google spreadsheet, which you can download as a Microsoft spreadsheet if you need to send it to somebody who's only got Microsoft. Poor people. And you can get interoperability between systems and get your stats like that. In fact, you can pull up these stats at any time. If I want to continue this game, all I do is go back and continue to input data into this game. If this is only the first quarter, as I add data, it'll get filled in down here below to the spreadsheet. And I can have it instantaneously. I don't have to wait for somebody to put all their paper notes or all of their, you know, numbers from this system or that system into a spreadsheet. It's right there. Right there. Any sport you can configure it inside of Google Forms, customize it to what you want to know. And again, every one of these cells represent, every one of these, these cells inside of this spreadsheet represents a question in Google Forms. What is it that you want to know? 
that you think you're going to have to separate and sort and sum up and then structure it that way in the form to make your own little custom app for everybody to have on their phone and all of a sudden statistics are no longer a drag for you and they can get back to being what they really are for everybody and that is information on how they're performing what they can do to do to perform better and you know it just really is motivating for your kids to know where they're at with their statistics wouldn't it be nice if you weren't the one that had to do it I'm Paul Limpert with Tech Your Game. I hope that's helpful to you. I hope you use Google Forms for your statistics instead of all of these pricey solutions that are out there on the market. Do it for free. Customize it to what you need. Have a great day. Take care.